something that you personally learned at Apple that you're doing it next? Good question. Um, I'm not sure I learned this when I was at Apple, but I learned it based on the data when I was at Apple. Uh, and that is, I now take a longer term view on people. In other words, when I see something not being done right, my first reaction isn't to go fix it. Um, it's to say, we're building a team here, and we're going to do great stuff for the next decade, not just the next year. And so what do I need to do to help so that the person that's screwing up learns versus how do I fix the problem? And uh, that's painful sometimes. And, my, and I still have that first instinct to go fix the problem. But that's Taking a longer-term view on people is probably the biggest thing that's changed. And then, yes? Great. To follow up on that question, I wanted to ask you about the management style and specifically how do you resolve conflict in the What's our management style? How do we resolve conflict? Um, I've never believed in the theory that if we're on the same management team and a decision has to be made and I decide in a way that you don't like and I say, come on, buy into the decision. You know, buy into it. Like we're all on the same team. You don't agree, but buy into it. Let's go make it happen. Because what happens is sooner or later, um, you're paying somebody to do what they think is right. But then you're trying to get them to do what they think isn't right. And, it, it, and sooner or later, it outs, and, and you, you end up having that conflict. So I've always felt that the best way is to get everybody in a room and talk it through in, until you agree. Now, that's not everybody in the company, uh, but that's everybody that's really involved in that decision that needs to, to execute it. And so that's how we try to run next. The way we run next is we have a team at the top we call the policy team. There's eight people. Um, uh, Mike is on it. I'm on it. We have six other people on it. And the key, to, we have two things we try to do. One is we try to differentiate between the really important decisions and the ones that we don't have to make. And the really important ones, we work on it till we all agree. Because we're paying people to tell us what to do. In other words, I don't view that we pay people to do things. That's easy to find people to do things. What's harder is to find people to tell you what should be done, right? That's what we look for. So we pay people a lot of money. And we expect them to tell us what to do. And so when, you, when that's your attitude, you shouldn't run off and do things if people don't all feel good about them. And, and the, the key to making that work is to realize there's not that many things that any one team really has to decide. And we, we might have 25 really important things we have to decide on a year. Not a lot. 